Okay, our study this morning is going to be Genesis 49 from verse 16 to 18, which says, Dan, uh, sorry, Dan shall judge his people as one of the tribes of Israel. 17. Dan shall be a serpent by the way, an adder in the path that biteth the horse hills, so that his rider shall fall backward. 18. I have waited for thy salvation, O Lord. Kiswahili? Dan atahukumu watu wake kama moja ya makabila ya Israeli. 17. Dan atakuwa nyoka barabarani bave katika njia. Aumaya fisigino vya farasi hata apandaye ataguka chani. 18. Wokovu wako ni meungoja e buwana. Yes. Yeah, we have been looking at the sons of Jacob. You remember Jacob blessed all his sons. The 12 sons. That is the sons of Leah and the sons of Rachel, his two wives. And if you go to Genesis 49 verse 1, whereby Jacob said, and Jacob called unto his sons and said, Gather yourself together that I may tell you that which shall befall you in the last days. We have been looking at the other sons. You remember, we have dealt with who? Ruben. We have dealt with Reuben, Simon, Simon and Levi, Levi. Judah. Judah. Zebrun and, and, and Ishakar. All these sons we have dealt with and we have seen what they mean in our present time. Today we are going to see what Dan is in our present time. We are going to see what Dan is in our present time. And here we are going to see uh, very deep things which, which are meant with this prophecy of Dan. You know, Dan, if you go to Genesis, you will find that even when the 12 sons of Israel were being sealed, Dan was not sealed. There is no name of Dan there. And many people have been arguing what, ha what happened? Why was not done among the sealed, those who are sealed in Genesis? Is it chapter 7? In Genesis, in Genesis chapter 7. And today we are going to see some of these things, why he could not be sealed. We are going to see some of the, th the reason why he could not be sealed because all these things were prophesied or the, his father Jacob had given him what was his due, even in our time. So here we are going to start slowly by slowly to see all this, all this prophecy about Dan. We are going to see all these prophecies about Dan because it is very important and it is very good for those who truly want to study the, uh, the sacred history in a serious manner. Not those who just want to study uh, things, the history, just a history that Dan was a son of who? was a sign of this and that, only that, and then he stopped there. No, we are going to see all what means with this, uh, uh, this sacred history, especially today we are going to deal on Dan. Dan, who was Dan? You know, Jacob had two wives. 
That is Leah and, Re and Rachel. Leah got how many children? Leah got how many children? Six boys. He got six boys, six men, and one woman. That is the dinner. You know here, sometimes when you look at the, at the eyes of this world, you might not even see the reason why Leah got six and then the seventh is a woman. Six and the seventh is a, is a woman. This woman here, it represents, the six represent the seven properties of God. And then, they are the, the, the seven properties of God. So, the six properties, all the six properties, they are formed in the seven. In the seven is the truth, is the substance which come out of the six, out of the six. Meaning, even Leah, even if she represented this worldly kingdom, she had a church. And that is the, that is the dinner. After getting the six men, then she got dinner. And you remember, if you go back, you remember the same dinner was raped by the sons of who? Hammon. And if you go back to what we have dealt with the dinner, you will see why the last child of Leah was dinner. Meaning, she was the climax of the kingdom of this nature, which represented who? Leah. When you come to Rachel, Rachel, we say that it is a kingdom of grace in this world. And that's what we call the mystical kingdom of God. The mystical kingdom, that is the, the kingdom of God in this world. We say it, in this world, we have two kingdoms going hard in hard. We have the kingdom of nature and the kingdom of gra grace. So, Jacob here, as a type of Christ, when he says that he is going to predict the lives of this the, of his sons, he is just giving us the setup of this kingdom, these two kingdoms, how they are going to fare in this world. So each son represents a, ca a character. Each son represents a character in this world. We have seen that. So when you come now to these two women, each had a maid. Each had a maid. Rachel had a maid. Sorry, Leah had a maid. And even Rachel had a maid. Or had maiden. And each, each woman or each wife had two maids. Each woman had two maids. Huh? Each maid. Each, each, each maid. Each maid, two sons. That's good. Yeah, each maid had two, two sons. Sorry. Each maid had two sons. But all these two sons were counted as if they were, the, the sons of maid, of Leah, or the maid of Leah, were counted as if they were sons of who? Of Leah? Leah. The, the sons of the maid of Rachel were counted as if they belonged to who? Rachel. To Rachel. And that's why all of them, they were under one umbrella, and that's Jacob. They were all the sons of ja yeah. Jacob. So the question is, who was Jacob? Jacob represented Christ Jesus. Because Christ is God. And this world, even these two kingdoms, that's the kingdom of nature and the kingdom of grace, they are the who? And the Christ. That's why Jacob was the husband of these two women. 
That's why he was the husband of these two women. And at the same time, the same Jacob gave birth with these two women. Yeah. That means even in the kingdom of nature, what we see in the kingdom of nature, they are the fruit of who? Christ. You know, sometimes people make mistakes because they think as if they, they, they don't want to accept some things. But that's a fact. All what we see in nature, they are also children of who? Christ. They are fruits of Christ. We are going to see where the different come in. So, in this kingdom of nature, that is there, we have found all what happened, the character of his children. We have seen them. I don't want to go back to them. For those who want to know or to, to study them, they will go back and study each star in the YouTube. They will get it there. Today we are going to see that Rachel, Rachel, if we go to uh, Genesis 30, 30, 14, let me see. Yeah. And when Rachel saw that she bear Jacob no children, Rachel envied her sister and said unto Jacob, Give me children, or else I die, I die. Verse 2. So in a sema, Yakobo akagadabi, Yakobo akagadabi kia raheli akasema, Je, mimi ni badala ya mungu, alie kuzuiria uzao wa mima. Yes. And Jacob anger was kiddled, and kiddled against the Rachel. And he said, Am I in God's stead who has withheld from thee the fruit of thy womb? You know, here you will find that even when, you know, here, this is the point where people should understand. Because you will find that in this world, when this kingdom of this world was created, and man, uh, the first Adam fell, he married who? Leah. And you'll find that, you'll find that. Until Christ came, who was giving birth? It is Leah. All the characters of this world were the sons of who? Of Leah. And Rachel, in all that time, she was barren. She had not given birth. And that's why she is complaining. That's why she is, she is complaining. She envied her sister. That means the kingdom of grace took a long time to appear in this world. In this world. It took a long time. But in all this time, you will find that at, in all this time, Leah had gotten his children. He has heard everything. His all the characters of this world were there. But Rachel had gotten nothing. But you'll find that when you come to verse 3, what does she say? Rina Sema. Aka Sema. Yuko mjakazi wangu, bile ha, uingie kwake, ili kwamba uzae juu, azae juu ya magoti yangu, na menipate uzao wa ye. You see, and she said, Behold my maid, bile ha. Go in unto her, and she shall bear upon my knees. Which means, whatever she is going to bear is going to be at a who? At a Rachel. Whatever she is going to bear is going to be at a Rachel. And she shall bear upon my knees that I may also have children by her. That's what the question is. If, if Leah, sorry, if Rachel was the grace, was a kingdom of grace, 
Because she was, she was to represent, to give birth unto the children of the kingdom of God. Of God. How come then she has given her maid to who? To Jacob, so that Jacob can get children with who? With a maid. Why is he? Why does he want to give his maid unto Jacob? Are these children truly to be a magical children of the kingdom of God? Because look here, who is going to give birth? Maid. But Rachel and Asema, and Ataka, she wants those children. How? And yet, Rachel represent the kingdom of grace of grace how can it be but here is a mystery that I, I, I want you to see Rachel being the the kingdom of grace and Rachel will be the end in the end will be the kingdom of God and Oh, and everything that is being worked out through Leah, eventually it will end with who? Rachel. Rachel. Because Rachel, at the end of the day, she'll form the kingdom of God. Because at present, we call it the kingdom of grace or the mystical kingdom because people don't understand it. But it, it is the one which is going to, to come after this world is done what? Is fed up or is gone over or the end of this world will come in but now we have said that even if these two women these two wives were also the wife of who ja jacob meaning jacob abide christ was also uh, the husband of these two kingdom but now rachel who is going to manage this kingdom on his on her behalf? Because that's what is, that's what is going to happen now. Because now, if Christ, you have married you have married Yari Le, Leah and and Rachel at the same time, and at the end of the day, this kingdom you are Yari, this kingdom of Leah, you wanted to marry me, but instead you married this first, as as the custom is which eventually you are going to marry me, then, in order for that purpose to come in, you must sleep with my maid, so that in this kingdom, I'm also going to have children who are going to work for my, for my sake, for my sake. Though, they are going to work for my sake, though they will be the children of me, of maid. Let us see. Let us see. Then maybe you can start. So, who is Dan? Dan stand in the figure of all outward officers. First get that one. Because here, all what Rachel want is those people who are going to be officers to be rulers in this world for the time being, awaiting, awaiting what? Awaiting the time when Christ will be truly, will take over. But you have to have people who are going to be officers, the rulers of this world at, this, at the present time. And these rulers of this world, they'll be the maid of Rachel, not there. They'll come from the maid of Rachel. Why? Because here, when we talk, we say the maid. Who is a maid? Who is a maid? You'll find that when you come to uh, to man, we say every man, every man has two kingdoms in himself. Every man. He has the kingdom of nature, at the same time, the kingdom of grace. It depends on which one is dominant. The children of Leah 
the king of, of nature is, do, is dominant. And when you come to the children of, of, of Rachel, the kingdom of grace is do, dominant. But now, even if this kingdom of this world, we say Christ, yani, yani, we say Jacob had, had these two wives, but who are going to manage for the present who are going to, to manage this kingdom? Who are going to manage this kingdom? Those one will be helper of Rachel, that is Christ, that is the maid of Christ, uh, of, of, of Rachel. That means those people who are going to be officers is as if they'll be the helper of the kingdom of God. But meanwhile, they are rulers of this world. Let us see maybe that point. Maybe you can get it a little bit higher. Sorry. Uh, Dan stand in the figure of all outward officers from those of highest authority and power even to the government of the human life itself. The government of human la life. Who is going to govern people in this world? Who are the kings? Who do, whom do they work for? Tunasema wanachagurua wana nani? Na kini tunasema ni mungu wifanya nini? Watawale watu. Kwa nini binadamu wanga nasema hivyo? Kwa nini binadamu wanasema yani eh, elida uchagurua wana nani? Na mungu. They are very right. A leader uchaguriwa na mungu. Lakini utawana tofauti kwa api. It is a leader of this world anachaguriwa na mungu. Lakini ya kichaguriwa na mungu hachaguriwi akiwa under the kingdom of grace. Anachaguriwa akiwa under the maid of who? Of Re? Of Rachel. Re. Nukumanisha, yeye anafanya kazi yeah? migu, akiwa chini ya migu ya nani? Ya Re? Ya Rachel. Kwa sababu even if we are going to heaven, we must have a kingdom of this world. And by it, afanya mambo, afanya nini? Iendele? Iendele. Mbaka ule wakati. Mbaka ule wakati, afanya nini? Ufi? Ufi. So, wale ambaye watafanya ikazi, ya, as the ruler, ambaye watatawala wengine, watakuwa ni maid, ni watoto wa maid, wanani? Ware? Warecho. Na huyu diyo dar. Dan diyo tazari wa kwaza. Manake, yeye lazi mawe. Kwa sababu kiangalia, Look at the children of Israel. Wakati walikuwa wanatawaliwa na nani? Na Mungu ambaye dhuruhu Samuel. Yes. Walisema namna gani? Wanataka mfalme kama nani? Kama watu inchi zingine. Wakataa nani? Wakataa Mungu. Which means they wanted to be ruled like any other but not God himself. Kwa in this world of time, yule wale utawala, it is wale ambaye, those who rule in this world are not exactly, they don't belong to Rachel. They are not sons of Rachel per se, but they are sons of the maid of who? Of Rachel. Of Rachel. So, what happens is this, uh, he shall be his own might and power as one man is to another. In the presence, uh, in the presence of God, he has not esteemed greater in his own nature than a servant or a minister. For he serves God. He serves God. Sikia. Dan serves God in his office. Sasawa. As another the servant does in lords and master. The office is God's. The office is God's, wherein He sits as a judge. He office in Yaran. Kwa sababu mungu diyo meka hii office pare. Sa tu nata tuone yani the character of yani of of Dan. Don't forget. What is this? Is the word of sin. And this word of sin, we must have rulers ambaye wataru in this world of sea. Now, wakiwa wana rule in this world of, 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 of sea, there will be an office of these rulers. 
So, the Bible tunasema, this office, it is the office put there by who? By God? By God himself. It is an office put there by God. So, those rulers or leaders, they shall lead on behalf of who? Of God. That's why tunasema, wanachakuru wana nani? Na mungu? Na mungu. Manaka hii ofisi, mungu diye ameweka wapi? Ameweka pari. So, and through this office, they'll be act as judges of the people. They'll judge the people. Through this office, they'll judge the, the people. Ndiyo naambiwa pare, Dan will do what? Verse 16. Inasema mwaka hani? 16 inasema, Dan atakukumu watu wake kama moja ya makabira ya Israeli. Yes. Kwa hivyo, Dan will judge his people. They will judge the people of this worldly king, kingdom. Because when he become a president, one is become a king, he'll act as a judge, as a judge. Mufal meanesa ku judge things vila anafanya nini? Anatak. Through the law, ambaye itawekwa. Yeye, he act as a judge. That's why nasikia, Dan, will be a judge, a judge. Na ni mtoto wa nani? Wa Jacob. Ni mtoto wa Jacob, lakini, amezaliwa na me? Na me. Kwa hivyo, me is a help. A helper. Na wana pale? Mjakazi ni msaidi? Msaidi. Anasaidi ya nani? Re? Recho. Ambaye recho diyo anashikia ufani mwanani wa mu? Kwa hivyo nuku manisha, Dan amezaliwa na maid, a helper, asaidie in this world of time, asaidie kwa sababu we must have a government, ndiyo akigojea the head of time, time. Yeah, that come fanya kazi yake. And you know, the reward of these judges as you are going to see it is in this one, in this one. Sasa. Kwa that's why hapo tumeona that Dan is a judge, is a judge. The office is the authority and power. And he himself is before God as another man. You see now, he himself is before God. So Jacob, yeye ako before God. Yeye anatawara wanaume. Yeye, yani yeye atiwa hapa duniani, anaati kama nani? Kama mungu hapa duniani. Na ni yonaona watu, wakati president ameda pahali, anakaa kama nini? Kama mungu. Kamuona angi? Ata unaona watu, ata wanafanya hivyo, nikana kuwapa wanawapa, huyu mutu wako nakipawa ingine. Ya, that is Dan. Iyo the character ya nani? Ya Dan, as you are going to see. Muta yona vizuri sana, miweko vizuri sana. But the spirit ya ni says, again, Dan will be a serpent on the way and another on the path. Tena mekua a serpent. A serpent. That's why, unawana sasa, yeye ni maid ya lea, sorry, ya recho, lakini utawara hii yote atafanya, atakuwa, ametoka, not on the side of grace, atakuwa ametoka, on the dark, the dark side. Yeah, atakuwa ametoka the dark side, ni kusema, he will have the character of a serpent. We are going to see why. You cannot be a leader in this world if you are not from the dark side. Unajua mimi leader wakisikia mambo mengine wanaweza atakasirika sana. Waseme na hii mtu anasema namna gani? But that's the word of God. Whether they like it or not. Sio mimi nimeiandika. Me I'm only putting it right. Watu wafuke nini? Wafuke ma? Watoto wa Mungu wajue kwa sababu ukweli lazima uwekwe. Haya, why is he going to be a serpent? Let us see. One, uh, that is, this judge in God's office would draw poison out of the power and authority. If 
power ambaye atapatiwa e power ambaye atapatiwa an authority this office because atakuwa ametoka from the dark side of nature yeye he is a worldly man with the desire of pride riches and whatever so yeye ndio aweze kutawala he will draw poison from the serpent not from god yeah he will draw poison from the serpent na serpent tunaambiwa alikuwa nini hebu tusome tusikie serpent alikuwa namna gani that is genesis 3 Verse 1. Ibu soma. Genesis 3:1. Ya, Genesis 3:1. Ina nyoka alikuwa mwerevu kuliko wanyama wote wa mwitu. Aliyowafanya Bwana Mungu akamwambia mwanamke, "Eti hivi ndivyo alivyosema Mungu, msile matunda ya miti yote ya bustani." That is it. Nyoka alikuwa mwerevu kuliko nini? Wanyama wote. Hivyo ni kumaanisha those who are going to be leaders. Lazima wawe na nini? Na were? Wajaja. Nyoka alikuwa mwerefu kuliko wanyama wengine. That means if you are going to occupy this seat, if you are going to be a leader, lazima uwe na uja, ujaja. Ujaja gani? Ya kudanga? Sasa nyinyi mnaona gaje watu yani hii mambo ambayo hiyo ni openly iko That is the word of God Lazima uwe na ujanja wa kudanganya Kwa sababu usipokuwa na uda, and unasikia yani hii office ndio huyu mtu aweze kutawala he must draw the poison from the serpent And that's why watu wanga wajui Unaona alida anakuja anadanganya watu openly. Na unaona watu wanafanya nini? Wanapiga makofi. Wakicheka. Yeah. Because the serpent alikuwa mjaja kuliko nini? Wanyama. Kuliko wanyama wengine wote. Na this that leader ambaye amekaa pale sisi wengine ni kama wanyama wengine wote sasa wenye hatukutaki hiyo kitu. Lakini yeye is a serpent. Is a serpent kusabu atadanganya na watu watampatia and that is it kwa hivyo hapa ndio anasema dan will be a serpent on the way and another on the path Wha- how that is called on the way for the way which they should go is god you see he will be a serpent on the way look here I want you to see here. How is he going to be a serpent on the way? Which is the right way? Is the way to go to where? To heaven. To heaven. But yeye Dan atakuwa a serpent on the way. Ambaye atafanya nini? Atazui? Atazui. Kuma He will be a serpent on the way of God. Hata kana kwamba yeye amezaliwa na mjakazi wa recho. Yeye ametoka the other side of the serpent na yeye though atakuwa anafanya kazi ya Mungu and at the same time yeye ndio atakuwa anazuia watu wazienda wapi? Wazienda binguni. Atakuwa against. He will be a serpent on the way. Sasa for the way which they should go is God, the true righteousness. Then say that That land and country, this city, that village, those goods, that money is mine. It's my own. I'll use it to my own profit and advantage and honor and live in this office as I will. That is the serpent. That's done. Yeye ata amass everything ambaye iko karibu na yeye. Kwa sababu ako na nini? Ako na ngo? Ako na authority. Na atasema kila kitu ni yake. Na ataitumia kama ya nani? He will use it as his own. Na sasa yeye akiuse it as his own kumaanisha atakuwa ata naipeana hata kwa wale watu wanataka kujia za Mungu wote atawashika as you are going to see. Atawashika wote. Kwa sababu wote watakuwa wakiangalia yeye nikana kwamba yeye sasa amekuwa ndio their god. 
Kwa sababu ameamaa kila kitu ambaye ni mali. Everything amekuwa amekalia ile kiti. Sasa kila kitu ambaye ile katika hiyo dunia ni kama ya nani? Ni kama yake. He can use it the way he wants for his own honor. That is done. Atitumia vile anataka? Anataka. So he ameitoa wapi? Kwa nini anataka kila kitu iwe yake? Tunaambiwa Satan why did the Satan fail with God? It is because ya pride ambayo inatokana na selfhood. Self. Siliko hili. Self ndio the root of all sins. Self Dan will amass everything because he has authority he has an office he will use that office to acquire everything kila kitu anataka ni kama hiyo ya kama ingewezekana yeye angetaka hata mali yote ile iko katika hiyo inchi hiyo ya nani yake selfhood ndio na mskupa ambaye this selfhood is a character of a serpent because the serpent is a hard maid of the de- of the devil is a character of the devil because the devil will have everything that's how self coming so and this very selfhood is the serpent and venomous under on the way for it walks very dangerous step upon the path of righteousness nasikia this selfhood is the serpent and venomous under on the way that's why na msichangae that's why a leader we can buy all the preachers what they want us to buy we we want what the leader because he's a serpent on the way and that way ni kumaanisha nje ya kwenda mbinguni because ye, wengine ambao hawaoni wameona kana kwamba huyu dan ambaye anaongoza manake yeye kila kitu akona he has power to, to give hii mali ya dunia na Mungu anasema namna gani kuwa urafiki na mambo ya dunia ni kuwa nini ni kuwa adui lakini wewe kwa sababu na wewe umeitwa pale you are called as a, as a preacher is not a call of god you cannot see things where were you are going to fall with the dan manaka dan atakuwa na kila kitu he has an office he has power he can give you what you want what you want kwa hivyo he is against the righteousness of who of god he is not going to promote the righteousness of god hata kubali haki na yule anakubali ni kufosiwa na the law ambayo imewekwa na binadamu na bado wanaibomoa bado wanaibomoa so tunasema hivi it turns righteousness into selfhood to do what it will or dan turns righteousness into selfhood to do what it will and dan says i am the lord yeye yeah, anasema yeah, mimi ndio nini mimi ndio i'm the lord mimi ndio bwana yenu am your leader mimi ndio mimi ndio nini mimi ndio kiongozi wenu and you must respect me and in fact ukitaka kujua these people they are not ashamed they are after that respect that you are not afuta na ndio wanapatiana mali ndio waibiwe majimbo ndio wainuliwe kila pahali na na watu mimi ndio in fact wacha niwaambie na muangalie a leader in any country anainuliwa kuliko even our lord jesus christ watu wanamchukua kama ni mtu ako juu afadhali watu wafiche ukweli wa support nani dali afadhali was yani waongee uongo in support of a leader ambaye he is against the righteousness of god lakini achaki leader ataficha ukweli aezi ongea asimkasirisha nani dan kiongozi ambaye ongea uongo ayani support yani wewe nyinyi semeni is a corrupt preacher lakini yeye ame support dan na najua 
Kwa Dan ndiyo kuna nini? Ndiyo kuna kitoweo. Ndiyo kuna chakula. That's why yeye this the, the yani huyu huyu leader at act as a lord. Kwa hivyo Dan ana act as a lord. Anasema the city Dan wangu anasema the city land and country even the village all authority and power is mine once akikalia kiti yeye anasema kuanzia the city mpaka kijiji mpaka kijiji anataka akitoka pale akienda kijiji pale watu wanafanya nini wanatokezea wanamuinamia anataka kita in the city the same that's done that's done mtoto wa nani wa mid ya nani yale yale tu he is yes he is doing the work of god manaka yeye katika this kingdom anafanya kazi it because that office lazima ikae nini ikae mu lakini wengi the leader of this world they don't know this but one day watakuja kujua but it will be too too late so when they say that every everything is under the authority and power so they suck poison out of god office of a judge and thereby afflict the miserable and sting with this poison round about in the way of the office as a nada and serpent you see now they poison everything you know pale tunaambiwa namna gani hebu turudi pale katika ile verse 16 17 hebu soma dan atakuwa nyoka barabarani bafe katika njia au maye visigino vya farasi hata apandaye ataanguka chai <laughs> unasikia that dan shall be a serpent by the way and under in the path that biteth the horse heels so that his rider shall fall backward that is very serious he will bite the horse in the heel you see another let us see who, what is another fast before we go on maybe so another is a just a viper a viper is a very poisonous snake which bite people on the path so it is a snake it is a snake so hapa ndio naambiwa there eh uh, he'll suck poison out of god's office of a judge and thereby afflict the miserable and sting with this poison round about in the way of the office as another and a serpent why for the spirit says he will bite the horse in the heel so that his rider will fall backward that is he will bite the horse that is the office where on he rides in the heels this in the just right that the righteousness God's rider which he shall bring shall fall backward and that he may govern as God's rider instead of the righteousness you know here this is the horse the horse this office if truly this man had worked in this office as a rider in this horse in this office because here ni kama amekalia juu ya nini ya farasi ya farasi if true he was righteous he would have worked for the goodness of who for the goodness of god it's not to say if you are done you cannot work for the goodness of god you can you can be a righteous king unaweza kufanya mambo yote kulikana vile shida hii na usaidie watu at least you have a certain light yani a certain righteousness in you ambaye inaweza kukusaidia ufanye nini 
Lakini kwa sababu hii authority wakati mtu amepata hii authority unakuta yeye because he comes from the dark side or he has the poison of the serpent meaning ako na ujanja mwingi sana instead of bringing this this office to God's goodness yeye wanga anaipeleka opposite yeye wanga anaipeleka opposite manake yeye he is being driven by him tama his desires zinamshinda mpaka instead of working for god he works for lucifer yeye anafanya kazi ya nini ya kishetani ni kwa sababu he works thing for the serpent hiyo ni kumaanisha yeye anafanya kazi yote for his own purpose and selfhood sasa hapo ndio tunaambiwa he bites sikiza hapa hapo ndio tunaambiwa he will bite the horse in the hills so that his rider will fall ba- backward you come to the yani to turn up are that yeye huyu badala huyu aelekeze watu kwa ukweli sasa anawageuza kuanguka nyuma anawageuza badala waone mwangaza wanarudi bado kwa giza anaogisha kwa giza yeah, yeah, that's why he is another ambaye kazi yake ni, ku, ni kunini ni kuuma kuweka poison yeye yeah, kazi yake ni kuweka poison hii poison kwa wale ambao hawajerefuka wanaona kana kwamba huyu ni, ni, ni kiongozi mzuri lakini yeye yeah, anabite hiyo office yake kutibia hiyo office yake anabite watu wote ambao kabisa wangetaka mambo ya Mungu they want to go to God lakini yeye yeah, amekuwa as another amejifikia wa, watu so say ni, ni kubaiti kisigino sasa hii hose ambaye ilikuwa hii office ambayo mlikuwa mnafikiria mna inawapeleka kwa Mungu inafanya everybody to fall back backward so you go to the opposite direction that's the work of dan hivyo dan ndio ufanye tunaweza kama mfano kama saizi kuna viongozi ambao wako katika kanisa ambao washiriki wa wanaona kana kwamba wao wanawaongoza katika mwangaza wa nani wa Mungu kwa Mungu wao wanaona eh. lakini ukiangalia vizuri ni kana kwamba wanawafungia ili wasifanye nini wasione mwangaza hao wanawaangusa warudi pa warudi nyuma warudi nyuma kwanza sasa ndio kama mm-hmm. the horse yes ambao washiriki wamefanya nini Wame, wamepanda wamepanda ili, thank you wafanye nini waperekwe wafike mahali walikuwa wanataka wafike lakini hii horse ikiumwa inarudi nyu that is it because dan atakuja au aume kwa sababu atakuja ashike the preacher wameshikwa na kwa sababu wale na serikali eh. na, na serikali wasawata wao hii serikali wanafaa kuipinga waseme mnakosea mnakosea lakini wao kwa sababu kuna chenye wanapata kutoka kwa serikali hawataki kufanya nini kuikosoa kuikosoa that is it that's what happened that's why ye yeah, atakuwa na umma kisigi kisigino mm. ni kumaanisha ye yeah, atakuja na pesa he is not impressed yani dan a leader of this world he is not interested with righteousness hiyo mm. kando a leader of this world hata akikuja na biblia ameshika ameopa na mna gani hiyo yote ni sarakasi he is not he is not for the kingdom of god kama angekuwa for the kingdom of god na kwambia yale mambo uanga inafanyika katika leadership hata yeye anaweza kulisai na sema no hii hapana lakini utakuja kuona this leader watakoroga uongo like a serpent mpaka wafanye nini wakalie pale yeye hana haja na righteousness ile kitu mfanya kae pale ni nini ni ma ni mali selfhood Sometimes nilikuwa najiuliza if truly I would like to be a leader ningetaka nisisikie kuna mtu anaopose mimi Ni kwani mzee A Christian ungetaka usikie wewe if you are a leader every person is with the, is happy with what you are do you are doing But we find that with these world leaders let us call them down 
they don't care how much umeongea juu yake so long as yeye ako hapo kwa hivyo ni nini anataka he is not yeye hii ana haja na wewe ana haja na wewe hata upige kere na mna gani yeye saka yeye saka sababu ile portion ambayo alipewa na serpent amewapea sasa nyinyi wakati yeye amekaalia hata mpige ndio na mna gani Manake lengo lake what he is after is not righteousness na mimi wanga naambia watu watu wasifikirie kuna ile leader in this world ambaye anaweza ku seek the office to lead in this world that is driven by grace of god hakuna in the first place hakuna mtu anaweza kuingia pale akampeni akiambia watu wao uongo na anajua hiyo kitu haitafanya nini haitafanyika kwa hivyo yeye he is a serpent tumeona serpent ni mujaja kuliko wanyama wengine wo? wote na anaweza kuwatakanya wote that's why dan was a serpent sasa so we have seen that dan rider must fall backward which signify that this dad with his office shall fall backward in the concerns of a christian when he turns to christ and works repentance for in repentance dan government ceases you see now here this person dan because he is so much occupied with the worldly goods because he's too much occupied with the worldly goods That is why you will find that this person to repent through repentance to this person is next to him. He cannot. How can repent? Most of them they don't repent. Because he want to go on and on. In the first place you will find that this son of this person once he get in the office he want to amass everything selfhood selfhood he may overcome yeye selfhood he may overcome yeye na hii selfhood usifikirie kuna pahali itaenda kwake ifanye nini it diminish na hii selfhood imemuingia to the point that yeye when it come to repentance amepita hiyo kiwango hawezi ku repent hata uone akienda kwa kanisa namna gani kuoneshana ati ame repent hakuna dan will never repent dan hatafanya nini hata repent wengi they die they cannot repent that's why utakuja kuona the lucifer lucifer mwenyewe wakati Lucifer angalia hapa nataka muone kwa nini Dan hata repent and most na Dan ndio naona hata wakati ukienda pale revelation utaona jina yake pale those who are sealed in the house of who of Israel the name of Dan is not there ni kwa sababu umeona yeye ametokezea faidi gani of the sun kwa nini kwa nini Lucifer hakusamehewa? Lucifer alisamehewa? One thing you know if you want all if you want all if you have all in this world through the poison of the serpent ni kumaanisha when you have all you can never want to have nothing Lucifer had all when he was in God because in God that's where we have everything but when you are in God is a sieve you know the, when we go towards God uh, there is what we call we are it's as if we are tending to nothing meaning All what we see in this world as riches it diminishes 
The more you go towards God, the more you devalue the things of this world. The more the righteous of yani the righteous of you, you, you become righteous, the more you don't value the things of this world. Because where God is, God says, even if you are given this the, the whole the whole of this world and you lose your soul, what are what are you going to gain? Nothing. Nothing. The gracious person have that in his mind. But you'll find that Dan has another spirit. You come to another part of having all. all. <laughs> so you come up on own. Look here. Lucifer, Akua on the side of God, he had everything. Now, because he had everything, is as if he had nothing. Because, yeah, yeah, when you are in God, it's as if you have nothing. Because in God, you have everything. Like, you know, all what you have is not yours. Nyanan. Nyamungu. So, Lucifer was like that. But Lucifer decided. Instead of having God, he would rather. Yeah. Asiwe na mungu. Ili apate. Mali. Because. Sasa. Ebu jiulize. Kwa nini Lucifer. He was an angel of God. And in God. There is everything. Nini hii mzukuma. Akatane na mungu, I had the opposite of God. It is because he never wanted all things are of God. And in God, you have everything. Nini hili sukuma Lucifer, akatane kuwa in God, so that, it, and, and because in God there is everything, mbona akatane kuwa ndani ya mungu, diyo awe na kila kitu, mbona akatane kuwa ndani ya mungu, wako na kila kitu? Nini hili musukuma? Na wanaga hikuwa na wanea mungu uivu. Ata ti, ata siyo uivu. It is to, hapa diyo thambi na hato diyo thambi ni. Na diyo naona hata hawa, the people in this world will never know. Thambi ni hii. Na hii diyo thambi. Ye ya kona everything in God. And you have in God, you have everything. Kwa hivyo nukumanisha, in God is as if you have nothing for yourself. For, for, for yourself, but everything is for God. For God, so, meaning you work, you work for God. You are servant of who? Because everything that you have is for God. Because you have nothing to call yourself, yourself. But when you have nothing to call yourself, because everything is for God. But when you want to have something. For yourself, you step out. You step out. You step out because now you are you. You are a creature created by God, and you are for God to work for God. But now you have decided what you have is not for God. You want it to be yourself. Yourself. So Dan has one problem, and by it is very hard to talk about you. Kwa sababu hapa sasa, yeye kwa bahati mbaya ameingia katika kiti ya uongo. Whereby when he's called about having something for your own, he can have everything he wants. Unasikia? He can have everything he wants. Kwa hivyo nikumaanisha yeye ni ngumu sana kurudi pale ile ingine. And that's why Lucifer never went back to who? To God. Mana kurudi pandele ingine ni kuachana na hii. Ni kuachana na hii. Ambaye ume, umetafuta. Ambaye sasa. Unasema hii ni, ni, ni jazo yangu. Nilikuwa na amuka. <laughs> hii unasema mimi ni mefanya kazi. Sasa kuacha hii hawezi. You can also say somebody who is a billionaire today. Umwambie now. In order to be in the kingdom of God. You must have nothing. You give everything to God. And then you own nothing in this world. Do you think it is easy for them to repent? It is not. 
He cannot. The power of nature and what he has in this world is so strong that it is impossible, next to impossible, kwambele yo mutu a repent. I'm telling you, all leaders, wale wako na mali, they know they have it. Na wengine wameipata through corruption. So, if truly you want to go back to God, ni yetukue yo mali yote, afanya nini? Arudishia watu wenyewe. Lakini hawezi. And that's why, when you go to, the, and to Genesis, Dan was not seen. The character of Dan was not seen. Seen. Iyo ni kumanisha, haiwezi kuingia wapi? Haiwezi ingia katika ufali muamuni. The character of Dan haiwezi ingia katika ufali. Hata wakidanganya na mimi nasema hivyo. And one day watakuja kuona. And that is it. Hawezi kwa sababu, hakuna wakati ya nesa fika. Wewe sahahia ambaye hauna mari. Ndiyo tunambiwa, yule mtu ambaye nipue this world. He is very near to the kingdom of God. Lakini hajui. Ako karibu sana. Manake wewe kudinaa hile kitu na dinaa ni kidogo sana. Ni kidogo sana. Kwa hivyo kwako ni rahisi sana. Lakini to Dan it is next to impossible. Hawezi. Hawezi. You remember that young man ambaye alienda kwa Kristo. Haka sema mbalaya. Lord, what shall I do in order to enter unto the kingdom of God. He was a rich man. Christ and Mwambia Mnagani. All what you have, go and give to the poor. Then come and follow me. Yeah, you choose Nini. Yeah? Alikatalia mali. Do you know now? It is hard for Dan to repent. Ukisha pata hii mali ya dunia, afadhali ukae na ukufe, unasema ni ya watoto wangu. And you lose the kingdom of God. Wewe unasema, tunajua hii mali ni ya watoto wangu. Lakini wewe ni umeshino kufanya nini? Kuyatiria. I wish leaders wanasa kusikia. And you naona, there is one leader in the world. Alikuwa na ito Buddha. Do you wonder what to do? Buddha was a son of a of a king, so he was he, he was supposed to be a prince in India. Lakini yeye wakati alijua the truth, having known that he is going to be a prince of this kingdom, yeye Buddha alikata, and he went to live in the forest. Akadinai, akasema no. It is either I, I take it and I lose her, heaven. Or I lose it and I gain heaven. And that's what Buddha did. Because it is not hard. That is an example given in history. It is to enter the kingdom of God. And your Christ is not a good thing. To enter into the kingdom of God. That is that. The rich man. So when we talk about the rich man, Hapa, we are not only talking about the at the Dan, the leader party. Because most of the leader wale wanatawara katika hii dunia. First of all, before they become leaders, they are very rich. Ile kitu inawasukuma wayanda katika leadership, it is because wamepata mali, sasa they want pride. Wanataka sasa wawoneka? Na wajulikane. Kwa hivyo nukumanisha, ene dan, ndiyo awe dan, haigia katika uongozi. Ile kitu kwanza wanga ime msukuma ni nini? Nutaji? Ame amass a lot of wealth of this world. Wengine wame nyanganya watu, wengine wame fanya corruption nyingi, baka mekua nutu wakona pesa. Sasa ndiyo anaona sasa kwa sababu, amefika hiyo kiwango, he want to be the president, he want to be a governor, he want to be whatever he want to be. Manake yeye, hako na mari, Anataka sasa afanya nini? Kwa hivyo hapa tukiogea juu ya Dan, hatuogea ati watu wa fikirie, we are talking only of the kings and whatever. We are talking of those people who have acquired the wealth of this world to the point that they are going to be appointed unto the authority of this world, of this world. Sasa wa? Nandiyo naona, ukiangalia verse 18, 
the same Genesis 49, Ugizoma 17, Dan shall be a serpent by the way, and under in the path that biteth this horse hill, so that his rider shall fall backward. 18. I have waited for thy salvation, O Lord. You see now, Hapa, it is now the Holy Spirit. Anaangalia Dan, Paka na, ana, ana, nikana kwamba is a cry for Dan. I have waited for thy salvation. Because uh, Jacob, wakati ameongea juu ya, ya Dan, ameoneshwa that huyu, he needs salvation. I have waited for thy salvation. But, nikana kwamba haku? Hakuna. Is what he's, he's just saying. <laughs> Anamhurumia. That is it. Nikana kwamba anamhurumia. Wakati anaangalia yale ambayo ndani atakaye yafanya ameona huyu hatafanya nini hata tu. Kwa hivyo ni kumaanisha hii lazima tuangalie mambo mengine vizuri. Because the man of this world sometimes mimi nasema even leaders themselves. Not that the word of God eh inakuambia hivyo ndio ukasirike ukiwa a leader. No. All what preachers have done in this world. Wamekata open up the scripture Ndiyo watu wajue nini ukwe? Ukwe. Even these leaders, wengi, labda kuna wengine hata, kama angesikia mambo mengine, angefanya nini? Angetu? Na angetu. Na hata kesema ta ima hali kweli ni ya nini? Kama nani? Nani alitubwa kambisha watu mali yake? Ni zakai. So na kumbuka zakai wakati aliyabiwa, wewe mtoshe ushuru, umekula pesa watu wengine, wakati alijua, Christ ni nani? Na akajua what salvation is and the grace of God entered in his heart or in his soul. Yeye yeah, alisema yule ambaye nimekula kwanza alikuwa alisema atarudisha mara ngapi? Mara pili. Nikumaanisha hata ile faida yote alikuwa amepata yote akafanya nini? Alipeana. So, nikumaanisha this one even if inasemekana it is hard for Dan to repent. But the door of repentance is still open. Sio kumaanisha ati ati hawezi. No, the door of repentance is open to each and every person. Lakini hapa repentance yaani hapa tujue kwa yule mtu ako na mali nyingi ya dunia na ameacquire through corruption, repentance yake ni ngumu sana. Manake hutaenda uanze kuambia watu mimi nimeokoka na Yesu ni bwana. Na pale kuna mali ya mtu umekalia pale. Kuna mtu linyanganya pale. Kuna corruption unajua pale umefanya makosa. Kuna mambo unaona hapa yedi mzuri. Lakini kwa sababu ya inpower unaifinyilia. So kuongea kwako hata kwa kanisa hata ukienda upretend namna gani. That is flattery. You are flattering yourself. Hata ule pastor ambaye yako pale anakuambia wewe ni kiongozi lakini unajua kuna pale wewe hawedi vizuri lakini upasta anakuja na kuonesha vile wewe mtu wa maana ujue that is your enemy. Sijui kwa nini hawa leaders waoni. A pastor, you know, akwambi ukweli, is your enemy. He's not a friend. Unless we are, unataka kuwa, yani kuku, yani kuwambi uongo. Because you belong to the serpent. Sini kwe? Yeah. Kwa hivu, wengi ambaye watai kuwambi ukweli is because they have that poison of the serpent. Lakini, yule ambaye ataona ukweli, no matter who he is, no matter hako na mari ya inagani hapa duniani. Mimi sijui kwa nini watu haoni. Unaona mtu wekua milionea. Hata muna sema hii nyumba ilikuwa ya so and so. Alikuwa na mari hii. Hii nyumba ilikuwa ya so and so. Na sahiyo hawa kagulini. And in fact, alienda without repair. So hiyo, hiyo mari nasaidia ya nini. Watu waelewe ukweli. Hata ukiwakia watoto wako mari hiki na unagani. Na wewe ukute, upote, you have done zero work. 
mtu ajiulize kile kitu ya maana katika hii dunia ni ile kitu umekula na nini na tumbo peke yake ile ulikula ambaye hiyo ulikula ndio ikusaidie to work for the kingdom of god kama ulikula ndio wa mass corruption you are the biggest loser in this world though ukionekana na macho ya mwili wewe unaonekana ndio mwenye nini ndio mali kwa hivyo mungu atusaidie because we have seen this case of of who of dan next time we are going to see the case of god god was a child of who yeah was a child, was a son of silver ambaye alizaliwa na nani na mtoto wa nani na na maid wa wa, wa lea na alikuwa the first born wa nani wa maid ya lea so we are going to next time we are going to see god tuone na yeye manaka tumeona the first born ya maid ya nani ya lecho tutaona naye huyu the first born maid ya god ana maanisha nini Amen. Yeah. Media ya silver. Media lea ambaye ni si? Ambaye ni silver. Ni sawa, asante.